Welcome. In this uh, security hardening case study, we'll look at Oracle Database 12C, a DISA, a STIG from release 18 from 28th April 2017. Now, this is the STIG viewer window. And uh, when you load that particular STIG, this is what the screen will look like. The rule title, the Oracle listener must be configured to require administration authentication. The STIG ID is given, and this is a CAT1, um, highest level of severity uh, control. Discussion. Oracle listener authentication helps prevent unauthorized administration of the Oracle listener. Unauthorized administration of the listener could lead to DOS exploits. Uh, loss of connection audit data, unauthorized reconfiguration, or other unauthorized access could also be caused. This is a category one finding because privileged access to the listener is not restricted to authorized users. So Oracle database works with uh, Oracle listener, um, issues those, um, you know, keep alive and updates on a particular port uh, while talking to other Oracle uh, components. Now, it's, what this is saying is that for the, for, for, to change anything related to Oracle listener, you have to authenticate it. Um, unauthorized access can result in stoppage of the listener, uh, denial of service, and overwriting of listener audit logs. Check content. If a listener is not running on the local database host server, this check is not a finding, obviously. So if it's not even running, then this doesn't apply. And check content for Windows hosts View all Windows services with TNS listener embedded in the service name. The service name format is as given uh, on the screen. And on check content, view the stick viewer for Unix, Unix hosts because there's a lot of detail and I didn't mention it here. I just mentioned it for the Windows hosts. Fixed text. By default, Oracle Net listener permits only local administration for security reasons. As a policy, listener can only be administrated um, as a policy, the listener can be administered only by the user who started it. This is enforced through local operating system authentication. And fixed text continues. For example, if user one starts a listener, then only user one can administer um, it. Any other user trying to administer, the listener gets an error. The super user is the only exception. And continuing with fixed text, remote administration of the listener must not be permitted. If listener administration from a remote system is required, granting secure remote access to the Oracle DBMS server and performing local administration is preferred. And this is the CCI control identifier. The organization implements the security configuration settings. And these are the NIST re references uh, for there. So Oracle listener is very common. And um, it, it, you know settings for Oracle listener would be separate, but here, there's Oracle listener authentication, which we talked about in this DISA control. Thank you.